Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about reading the periodic table. Periodic table gives you lots of information about the different elements. Let's get started with carbon. If you will notice carbon, it has an atomic symbol of C, C, which is the capital C. Let's first focus on how to find the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The number above the atomic symbol is the atomic number. In this case, it's a six, so it tells you that it has six protons. Protons have a positive charge and gives the elements its properties. It can never vary. Next, let's figure out the number of electrons. Unless the element is an ion, which means it has a positive or negative charge, it will have the same number of protons and electrons. So since you have six protons, you will have six negative electrons. Next are the number of neutrons. You will notice you will see under the C is a number 12.0096. That is the atomic weight. It's the weighted average of the number of isotopes. But you need the mass number for the number of neutrons, so you will round it to its nearest whole number, in this case 12. Then you can use the formula mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So you have a mass number of 12, you have 6 protons, so you need 6 neutrons. Now a couple of extras. Notice the color of the background. There is usually on a periodic table a key that tells you what the different colors stand for. In this case, the green is a polyatomic nonmetal. And also, the atomic number can be different colors. In this case, it is black, and the key tells me that this is a solid. And finally, you can look and see what column it's in, and it will tell you its family. Elements in the same family have similar properties and the same number of electrons in the valence levels, except for the elements in the middle. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's look at boron. Boron has a symbol B. It has an atomic number of five, so it has five protons, so it will have five electrons because it's neutral in charge. It has a mass, it has a atomic number, excuse me, an atomic weight of 10.806, so I will round that to 11. Then 11 equals five plus six, so it has six neutrons. It is a metalloid based on its color. It is a solid and it is in family 13. So I know that it has three electrons in its outer shell. So there we go. Some hints on how to read the periodic table. Hope this helps. And thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.